Welcome to Conversations with Body and Mind with myself, Nirvana Langer. Body and Mind is your health and wellness online directory. And coming up in today's conversation, we'll be chatting with psychic Tessa. Good morning, Tessa. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm well and yourself. Good. Can't complain. Yeah, looking forward to actually chatting to you about your journey being a psychic. Would you tell us a little bit more becoming a psychic? What were the signs or how did you know that you were a psychic and how was that perceived when you discovered it? Um, I was brought up in a psychic home. My grandmother was a very well-known psychic up in Joburg. We used to call her Auntie Gertie at those times. and um, She was fantastic. She was amazing. She put me on the path of being a psychic. Uh, she had an amazing connection with God, and that brought me to being being brought up in the psychic world. Uh, not that I wanted to be a psychic, I was just amazed and awed at how beautiful she had seen the world differently than most people. She had been through World War Two. She believed that every, humans all have rights and we all need to be loved, etc. So she was a very, very well-known psychic in those days, but in those days it was very hush-hush. So you couldn't be a psychic in those days, and if you were, um, you used to, the aunties used to secretly come to your house and to come and see Auntie Gertie. So it was quite interesting, and I learned a lot of things from her. She had such an amazing journey, so she, the stories she used to tell me, or I used to sit there as a child and listen at some of the people who she did readings to, and that led me to where I am today. But I wanted to be a nurse. I wanted to do a psychology. I wanted those things. I didn't want to be a, a psychic. So I tried to fight it, and I did nursing and those sort of things. And as the years went on, it got stronger. I had my psychic abilities when I was about seven years old. I remember my grandmother was looking after us because my mother was having my baby brother, and there was a big gap between all of us as children. I saw all these dead people sitting around the bed, and I screamed, absolutely screamed. And she came running to the room and she said, what is it? And I described each person to me. And that was when she took me on the journey to understand being a psychic and not to be afraid, not to look at the eyes, etc. And that is how I became. Being a psychic is not an easy journey. It is one of the hardest journeys that anybody could possibly ask for because you are trying to establish who you are and what you are amongst people or humans. And you're trying to show them the love and the kindness and you're trying to show them about Mother Earth. That is a hard job and a hard way to get. I can definitely understand that. And can anybody be a psychic or is it just a very special group of people that receive this specific gift or people really tap into their intuition be a psychic? So I think that everybody can have the ability to be able to see the angelic realm, to be able to see the gods. Yes, I believe that if we look at the world of Atlantis and we go back in those times and we used to be able to transform to our children and be able to tell them if they were okay through crystals. So if we go back to a little bit of history and a bit of digging, I'm going to say yes, I do believe that everybody has an ability of having a psychic. Some people call them intuition, some people call it a gut instinct, but I do believe that some people do have, most people have it, it's just they don't tune into it. I absolutely agree with you. I think we all have that ability because everything we need to know is within us. We just need to really tap into that. Now, tell us a little bit more about your psychic abilities. What do you do? How does it work? Do you hear? Do you feel? Do you see a combination of that? Explain to us what is a psychic for people who've never been or experienced being a psychic. So I'm going to call a psychic a bit of a priest, a little bit of a psychologist. Psychic's ability is not there to indoctrinate or to bully or to empower people. It is there to be able to guide people how to make a right path in life and how to learn love, which is the most important thing, and how to overcome. I've noticed in my readings the last couple of months that 90% of my work has actually been on how to teach people how to cope with bullies at work. And I found that very interesting, or how to cope with a very difficult relationship but in a form of... And I've had such a very good comeback coming back to me with this, saying to me, you can see, it's amazing how you can actually, if you just learn to say the right words. So words are very important that an amazing power. It's just that people just don't know how to work or see how to work through it. And that's where it comes from. Some people have an imbalance and they don't have the faith and they haven't seen or met God yet, although they know about God, but they haven't met the connection yet. So that is where I believe that I have the ability to be able to teach people to do that. I love teaching about the angels. I love doing that. It's just something that it just implores in me. I love giving speeches about it. I love giving true life stories of how people have encountered with the angels to get 
people's hands. I do readings and I do them. I used to do them by touching people's hands and I used to be able to talk a different language, but I've stopped doing that now because I found that the energy field sort of has been very dark. So what I have done is I do the form of tarot, which I find is a beautiful way. My grandmother taught me in the old days, we never had tarot. We never knew it existed. It was taboo. It was evil. It was satanic. So we used bicycle cards in those days and we used tea leaves. And that's how she taught me how to, how to be able to tap into my psychic ability through bicycle cards. Yeah, that's lovely. Yes, I've experienced the bicycle card reading many years ago. That's quite a unique way. And the tea leaves one, that's also nice and ancient. Thank you. Yes. In many ways, if we look at many religions and we look at many cultures, most people have already done this. They've done it. If we look at kings, if we look at King Solomon, for example, we look at kings around in the world and stories. All of them had what they called a joker, who was the little psychic, who actually guided them on how to run the country. So there have been psychics written always. I believe a psychic is a prophet. To say the word psychic I think is the wrong word. I actually wanted to change my wording the other day and say I'm not a psychic. I'm not a clairvoyant. I am somebody who is able to see certain things in this world and to be able to interact with that. To be able to understand where people are coming from and why and how to help them overcome these certain things. For example, there's been at this moment time if I look at the hatred and anger that is developed in the humans, I realise that they have not got a connection with the source. And you are the source and the sources within you and we have a demon in us and we have a god in us and that is where the source needs to come out of you to be able to adjust and that is what people need to tap in about more absolutely i totally agree with you i was looking at your page on the body and mind website you can do whatsapp you can do skype and you can do all of that how does that work like what do you pick up how do you do that I work with the energies of your voice. I can't explain it. I wish I could. A lot of people have said to me, Tess, who do you talk to? And I said, if I, I believe I talk to the source and I believe I don't need to know the source's name because I know who the source is. The source is God. I talk to the source and it gives me the answers. Sometimes when I was younger and many, many years ago, I used to doubt myself even, but that makes us human because we have human traits. But when the customer will come to me and say, Tess, it's exactly as you said it, then I realize that no matter what, we're all human and we have our own faults. But I realize and I've tapped into being the source and tapping in with my own thoughts and to be able to help the people. For example, as I was talking to you at the moment, you feel weighed down in conversation sometimes and you've been doing feeling like that the last three days. You also have been feeling very emotionally weighed down, but all your things as far as work and your battles of work will go, it will, it will sort itself out. You are also going to have a problem regarding a family issue, but it's corrected to a sibling. So these are things as we go along and we speak, we feel these things and that is how we do the readings for the people. Well, I can tell you, you absolutely hit the nail on the head. I've had three days, the last few days of really being emotional. I've just literally been crying the whole day yesterday. Just feel like I'm treading water and definitely not able to get my head above it. You've literally picked up. And when I do this, I do my best that doesn't come through when I'm talking and chatting and come through professionally and come through high energy and people would never even know. It's really been a tough few days. And so you've definitely hit the nail on the button and one of the things are definitely family related could be one or two siblings or it could be even my mother and just feeling that sense of not belonging and it is because I'm so different like you know being on this journey is not an easy journey if anybody had to ask me I would say this is the hardest journey of my life absolutely well wonderful and thank you for that tell us how people can get hold of you how can they get readings done to come and see you where are you based facebook page if you can give us uh, your information please um, under Tessa Clue on my Facebook page, you can get hold of me on my cell phone number, which is 072-552-1183. And my email address is psychictessaclue at gmail.com. Great. Thank you. And people can do a psychic session through WhatsApp and Skype, Facebook messaging, things like that? Things like that, yes. I prefer to talk to the person because I believe that speaking to a person is more personal than um, doing an email reading. I do not like email readings. I don't do yeah. them because I feel that it has that personal touch. So I do it through Skype. I do it through WhatsApp because most people have got Wi-Fi and they can use that. That doesn't cost them money. Mm. 
um, so it makes life easier for them. And then please don't forget that you can go to the Body and Mind website, bodyandmind.coza. We also have our blog site where you can interact with our members, bodyandmindblog.coza. Download that onto your Android or your Apple iPhones and also interact with us and find all Tessa's information on there and uh, connect with her. Follow the links below, subscribe, like and share it to people that you think can gain benefit out of these conversations and wonderful members that we have on our Body and Mind website. Thank you very much, Tessa. It was great chatting to you again. Thanks for having me and thanks for chatting to me and God bless all of you. And you too. Bye-bye. Bye.